There's money, gold, and jewelry hidden in the ground. You'll find it in the country and every yard and town. There's gold in the oceans and along the mountain stream. It's there to be discovered by those who dare to dream. There's nothing more exciting than finding something old. No matter if it's copper or made of solid gold, Garrett has made it easy. No matter what your age, to find your hidden treasure, go start your search today. You can find it on a mountain top or deep down in the sea. So take your Garrett with you, no matter where you'll be. Hello, everyone. My name is Ron Dean, and welcome to the summer edition of Lost and Hidden Treasure provided by Garrett Metal Detectors. Today we're out here in North Texas at an old historic piece of land. Uh, behind me here, it's uh, actually an uh, old uh, 1800s church that's still standing there, uh, built later on in the 1800s. We've uh, determined that that wasn't the original spot where the church was actually built and everything. We're uh, further down here by the creek where we believe the church is located, the original one that is. Uh, Larry and uh, Simpsons found a cache out here with Steve Moore and a few other people metal detecting and hunting around. And uh, we've come down here further by the creek where they were known to have had brush harbors and baptisms and everything else. So we're gonna see uh, if we can't look around, find some more coins and uh, artifacts or relics or whatever. So let's get on with it and uh, we'll see what we can find. Today while we're out here hunting, we're going to start out hunting with the AT Pro. This is Garrett's newer model. And later on we're going to switch over to uh, the summer special, which is going to be the GTI 2500 that uh, Vaughn will tell you all about a little later. Today while using the AT Pro, I'm going to be using it in pro mode on coins. You can hear there's a lot. Right here we've got a good signal. It's bouncing 85, 86 which is in the quarter range. And it's saying about four inches down. We'll go to pinpoint it's two inches and right there. Let's uh, see what we can find here. Well, first piece of trash. Piece of wire. Put that away, cover up a hole, and move on. Apparently there was uh, something else just a little further up. Maybe uh, the other, it rang up the same there as uh, that piece of wire, so, and it's probably, no, a stick. Maybe another, uh, piece of it there. Well, we got another piece of trash. Top to a lid or something. Here it's showing a good target. Good, you hear that good sound. It's ringing up. It's about between 75, 76. A 
the pinpoint says right there and four inches down. So we'll dig it and see what we got. Right there, a little deeper. type of chunk of metal have to clean it up as you see bro behind me the tree line and everything where we're hunting here in this uh, closing I mean uh, opening here the creek actually runs all back in here and uh, we're starting up here and we're working our way down towards the creek and everything see what we can find because they were uh, brush harbor meetings you know stuff like that gatherings and everything back in the old days so uh, hopefully we'll find something good we've got a lot of signals here it's all down the teens and 20s bits and pieces of trash, old iron and stuff like that. Wait, oh. And here we got good signal. It's uh, 85, 86, 87. We'll go to pinpoint and it's saying about six inches down right there so uh, we'll dig it Let's see what we get this ground here in North Texas is really tough and the hotter it gets the tougher it gets so uh, today I'm using this little shovel here it helps out a whole lot instead of using those small handheld uh, trowels. And I'll start the hole with the, the shovel and then from there I'll uh, go in and with the little handheld and dig a little deeper till I actually find the target. So our target's going to be a little deeper. Whoop. About six. Oh, we got a coin, Larry. Oh, it's a large cent. I can't read, make out the date. I'll have to get it wet here. I can't tell right now, but large cent. Hopefully that's uh, in the right area. Oh yeah, hopefully we find some more good stuff. Put that away and keep on going. Just uh, went ahead and uh, switched over into uh, zero and pro mode in my iron discrimination. I brought up the 35 and uh, there's no telling what we're going to find out here being an older site so I'm going to go ahead and 
dig everything and uh, that gives a steady, you know, signal. Usually you want to look for uh, stuff, you know, bounce between one, two, three numbers. If it's all over, you know, from the teens to 30s, 40s, 50s, if it just bounces around your numeric readout there, I usually don't mess with it. So we'll uh, see how that does. So like this, this 30s, 40s, 50s, got a lot of trash and everything out here. This right here, we're gonna have to check out. Well, no, uh, it's bouncing all over the place. Well, now that's a good sounding signal. And it's holding steady, it's bouncing 82, 83. And it's saying six inches down right there. So we'll dig it and see what we got. Oh, this ground's actually a bit soft over here. Getting close down to the creek, it's softer dirt. <clears throat> it's showing a little deeper. What is this? Locket or? Oh, a pocket watch or something. Huh. Oh, pocket watch. Part of it. Got a hole in it. Show somebody's out here. Yeah, that lets us know that, uh, we're close, or if not right on the spot there, where uh, people gathered and everything else. So we'll move, put that away and move on, see what else. Uh -huh. We've got another signal, right, not too far from the other one. It's ringing up 58, 59, and it's Showing four inches down. We'll check it out and see what it is. Dig a little deeper. Oh, popped up. Ooh, I hit it. Uh, it's a piece of metal. Maybe. top of the spoon or something? I don't know. It's broke off. Not too sure. It kind of looks like a flattened out spoon. The spoon part of it there. I have to get it back and clean it up. And I don't see any writing on it, so let's clean it up and see. You want to make sure and always detect around trees. People used to sit up next to them, get in the shade and everything, and money dropped out of their pockets.
Ooh, there's a good sounding target. We're bouncing 85, 86, occasional 87 in there. Saying six. Six inches deep, right there. Oh, let's see what we got. A lot of root tough. Yep, yeah, makes it tough with all these roots, but get you a good digger and takes care of a lot of those problems. Alrighty. Oh, deeper. How deep are you, Ron? Right now, we're about four inches down. A little tough the deeper you go but all these roots mm, it's still a little deeper oh we got another corn oh we got we got a barber right it's uh pretty worn Barber. Let's see, it's 19, 1907. There we go, we're getting some good finds over here. They probably had picnics out here in about that time, you know, the church was already built, and this is probably where they had their Sunday picnic. May have to uh, stay out here all day, go over this real, real good. You'd think they'd have it out in this clearing with all the shade and stuff. Well, let's move on and see what else we can find. Ooh. Let's see here. Probably can't see it very well with the camera and everything, but you want to be looking for indicators. Uh, old glass and everything. This is an older piece of glass because closer up and holding it right here you can see all the color and everything in the glass when you find uh, tell signs like that the old glass bottles, old trash, old stones, you know bricks and everything like that when you're out digging and everything usually it's a good indicator that you know there was people around in the area and something was going on so always be on the lookout for those those signs. So we've been out here two hours now and uh, we found quite a few nice uh, items out here. A uh, piece of a pocket watch, uh, what looked to be a spoon, uh, the barber quarter, the large scent. Uh, we've also found trash. It's just uh, we're limited on time doing these shows and we can't show you every single thing but trust me we've I've found plenty of trash and pieces of metal and junk and pool tabs and everything but you're always going to find that anywhere you go pretty much so you just got to wade through the trash and you'll find some good stuff. Well we worked our way down to you can't see but uh, we're right here at the creek area there's a lot of debris old wood there's some a uh, lot of stone and everything uh, we're going to try our luck down here more uh, more chances to uh, find stuff probably. There's going to be a lot more trash, but right, you're right here by the creek. People, you know, used to get the water from the creek. Uh, from what we understand, they used to do baptisms and everything down here, and you know, kids play and swim in it and everything. So we're going to see what we can find over here. Mm. 
I'm getting a lot of 20s and 30s signals. Get a, a maybe. It's ringing up. Uh, it's doing a little bouncing there in the high 80s, 88, 89. I normally probably wouldn't. It doesn't have that clear audio, but there might be some trash or something next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig this one and. See what I find. Sand four inches down right there. Let's see what we get. Oh, a lot of rock. Yeah, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of rock over here. Makes it a little tough. Oh, oh, we got a ring, Larry. All right, it's Ooh. broken. At the bottom there, but we got a ring. Looks like a silver ring. We got any sets in the ring? It's got. Nah, it looks fake. Uh, fake diamond or something in it, but and then the bottom's broke. You can see there, but that's fine anyway. Probably a little cheapy, but somebody, still, a ring's a ring. Somebody down here washing their clothes. Cover up a hole, see what else we can find over here. Well, we've been hunting out here at the uh, old, supposedly the old church site, and uh, we found a lot of good uh, finds, different things and everything. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, we told you we're gonna hunt a little bit with the 2500 there, since it's a summer uh, sale special going on and everything. So we were uh, talking to some, uh, an older couple went walking by and that's another good form of uh, information to find out where things are and they grew up here and they told us of another good spot where the uh, the first school was here back in uh, the early 1900s the foundation's still there and everything it's behind the uh, community center so we're gonna pick up and go over there and we'll break out the GTI 2500 and see what we can find with that 